In psychology, we have a few research groups, and one of them uh, is something we call perception, action, and culture group. Uh, in this group, a few of us, we work together, try to understand how our brain works, and how our brain actually can guide our different perception cognition. Often students are surprised by how important the brain is to psychology and I'm keen on explaining to them how the brain is an essential part of who you are. We have to understand psychological processes in terms of the physical and chemical processes going on inside the wet mushy stuff in your skull. We try to combine different methodologies together such as um, eye tracking, uh, psychophysics, and EEG, FMI, TMS, and other brain imaging techniques. We try to understand as a human how our brain can actually guide our behavior. My particular area of interest is in human visual perception and two particular aspects of perception uh, I'm interested in. One uh, is how we perceive movement and the second is how we perceive visual art. An ability to perceive movement is crucial for survival for any mobile animal because we need to be able to detect predators, catch prey, move about through the world without bumping into things. So an ability to see movement is crucial and uh, it's important to understand how the brain processes movement in order to understand how we gather such important information. So the research I do is particularly interested in how the brain uh, analyzes the movement that is present in visual images. My research area is in vision how we look at our surroundings and how we sample important information to guide our behavior. The bottom line is uh, we try to understand how they pick up important information from their surroundings to guide their behavior. I think it's really important that research in psychology rate relates to real people, real people's lives and problems. And my area is relevant when people have had injury to the brain, for example stroke, or uh, they suffer from neurodegenerative disorders such as Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's. Now, by getting a better understanding of what different parts of the brain do, we can understand the sorts of problems that real patients have in real life.